Hello watch fans! Berth here, watches here, and this time for you we have a nice Art Deco gold pocket watch. Now this has a sterile dial, nothing on the dial whatsoever apart from a bit of patina. But all looking nice, beautiful blued hands. Nothing on the back to tell you the maker, but a nice inscription. And I'll come back to that 21st anniversary bit, or 21st birthday, because when you look inside, you see the name Rolex. And you also see the name Rolex on the case. The case is nine karat gold, it's assayed for 1924, and the inscription is for 1926, so this is the more prominent one. Uh, you don't see the Rolex crown logo anywhere, because that wasn't registered until 1925. But look at this movement. This is not something you associate with Rolex. You normally think of a better or more fine movement when you see screwed in gold chantons, these little gold bits that have rubies inside, synthetic ruby bearings. You don't normally get those unless you're talking very high end. Same with this spring and cam snail cam fine adjustment that's a high-end movement adjusted to six posi positions and all uh, climates it's not waterproof you take it to the north pole it freeze so that'd be a bit cheeky today but really nicely finished and far more dressy than you associate with rolex now why wouldn't rolex put their name on the dial well, there's your clue, 1926. In 1926, Leslie was 21, but Rolex were only 21 at that point. They'd only been going 21 years. Their name wasn't that widely known, despite seven world records, as it boasts on the inside of the case back. Let's just shut that. Shuts nice and crisply. There's a couple of little dents in the case back. It's a mid-sized 44 mil case, but very slim. Again, you think the Rolex, you know, they can't make wristwatches this thin anymore. A Rolex wristwatch would be a bit bigger than this. There's a little bit of corrosion on the minute hand. I'm going to forgive it because it is nearly a century old. I like the bow. It's a little floppy. The, sprint, the hinge is beautifully tight. That's a little floppy, but it's very deco very 20s so you've got a rolex solid gold pocket watch running nicely good movement and um, if it had the rolex name on the dial you'd probably pay double that's just how the market is as it is this sterile dial one where you know it's a Rolex, but not necessarily anyone else does, could be a better buy. It's your call. If you want Rolex on the dial, buy one with Rolex on the dial. You can see more on this watch at berthierwatches.com and I'm not sure when we're gonna get another one like this. We have had one Rolex pocket watch before. That was a military one from World War II. It didn't last long. To be honest, it wasn't much cheaper than this, and that was a few years ago. Uh, but the military always adds a little bit. But it had Rolex on the dial, and this doesn't, but it's got a gold case. You pay your money, you take your choice. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. We'll see you again next time.